Hollywood Studios and this place is a madhouse already. I think I'll skip that. Let's find something spontaneous to do. Oh yeah, we have to use our fast pass for Tower of Terror. We have to? Yeah. Oh, that's right. We're running up against the clock, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Look. That is not the Tower of Terror standby clock malfunctioning. That is a 140 minute wait. Wow. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> because it's scary uh, so we're waiting for mommy and daddy but Mikey doesn't want to get on it because he's scared I don't know why because he loved it the last time <laughs> so we're just hanging out at the gift shop so this shirt's pretty cool it says you can check in you can't check in <laughs> Have you seen the Tower of Terror movie? Um, I heard of it, but I never watched it. I don't know about it either. I feel like I might have, but I'm not really sure. Get it? That was awesome. You missed it. Q line for what ride is this? What? Oh, it's for food. Now it's time for some Aerosmith. Yeah. Oh, all right. Hey, don't mind us. We'll be finished in just a minute. Hey, yeah. Hey, what? What? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, hey, hey. What are you guys still doing here? You were supposed to be at the show. I'm working. Now. I'd like to introduce our lovely manager. Yeah, uh, she's oh. usually not like this. Yeah. I heard that. <laughs> Where is my limo? Good. Okay, come on, guys. Please, get in the car. Sorry, folks. We gotta go. Chris, can you grab my black lotus ball? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? We can't leave these people here like this. Uh, we can't? The whole. Come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, yeah that's well, right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Is send them all with you? Yeah. Hey, I, well, I, I don't know. Wait a minute. I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Make it happen. Come on. Okay. Okay, yeah, make it happen. Right, now right. get out of here. I need all of you. See you. Have a nice ride. Bye, Sally. Listen, I'm gonna need a bigger car. Bye. Make it a stretch. In fact, make it a super stretch. Yeah, Aerosmith, yeah. Let's get started with Bachelorette number one. Diego, I'm Bachelorette number one. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and touch that? You can't touch Diego. Yes, he can touch you the sleeve of my dress. Go ahead, Diego. Toque. The sleeve Toque of my dress. Go he ahead. says, no. Go no sleeve, oh, no. <laughs> it's too bad you should touch oh, the sleeve of my dress. Do you want to know why? It's girlfriend material. Oh, yes. <laughs> Don't you have a way to lure him in with a universal language of sorts? Well, I do have a song of love. All right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. You can, you can sit down That's now. That's right. Meet Bachelorette number two. I would like to be completely honest right now. Well, you should be. Yes. Just lay it all out on the table and 
let you know that I just recently got out of a three-year relationship. Oh, Trey, Trey, it's on you. Um, Are you okay? What? Yeah, 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 I'm good, I'm good. You know, it's it's been about a week now, and, uh... Okay, sit her down, sit her down. Have a seat, the bachelor has number two. You're fine, you're gonna be fine. I'm not ready to do yes, this yet. Yes, you are. Oh, no. Okay, have a seat. It's bachelorette number three! Probably not, but uh, this is Diego, and just fair warning, there might be a slight language barrier. That bodes very well for me. Yeah. Here's my Lego, Diego. No, no. Oh, my God. Uh, hi, now, where is he from? Argentina. Argentina. Oh, buenos dias. Diego. I'm bachelorette number trace, and I'm not so good at pros. But since you call yourself the bachelor, I must ask, will you accept this robe? Oh, accept us el flor. Muy bien. Take it, Diego! Toma, toma. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, those are our three bachelorettes here. On the Hollywood Matchmaker Game. All right, Diego. Diego, listen, we're going to see how we're gonna see how this goes. Can you, can you read the question there, Diego, for the bachelorettes? Diego's got a sweet tooth. Yes. I, I can help you out here. If you were a dessert, what dessert would you be and why? Ooh. Very good question, Diego. Oh, wow. Hi, Diego, it's me, Bachelorette. If I were a dessert... Is he talking to me? I have no idea. What? Okay. 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 Well, you know, All right. Would you quit harassing the children, sir? The, the homeless children in the gutter, they never bother you. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I, I'm going to answer my question. Dessert. I love dessert. I don't know if you know that about me. No, I didn't. Yeah, I love dessert. And I would be the most romantic of all desserts. I would be chocolate. 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 I would always give you kisses. I would never snicker at you. And a lot of people say I'm a little nuts. All right. Oh, very nice. In case you forgot, I just recently got out of a three-year relationship. Yeah, you, you said that. Um, and if I could be any dessert yes. for you, Diego, um, oh, I would be s'mores. Oh, s'mores. Oh, nice. Why s'mores? Well, I'd be s'mores because I love camping. And we could snuggle up by the fire. No touching. No cookies. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, Diego? Yeah. It wouldn't take you very long to figure out that I'm a hot mess. Okay, okay. okay. Sit her down. Sit her down. For you, Diego, from Argentina, yeah. I would be the romantic and majestic flan. Flan? Yeah. Oh, no. See, Diego I would be knows. the flan. Diego knows flan. Because I'm saucy on top and jiggly on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, Diego thought long and hard about this one, and he told me that he loved animals. Did he really? Diego loves the animals. The animales. Los animales. If you were an animal, what kind, what kind would you be and why? Oh. That's right, number one. I would be the most romantic animal, the sea otter. The sea otter. Because like the sea otter, I too can crack open clams on my belly. <laughs> Skill. I can. And one look at me, and you see why your honor picked me. Ah. If I could be any animal for you, Diego, I would be the noble, the mighty lobster. A yes, lobster. Oh, cool. The cockroach of the sea. Yes. <laughs> I would be the lobster because not everyone knows this, but fun fact. Did you know that lobsters mate for life? At least that's what you tell me. Before you took me out to dinner, butted me up, just to tear me apart! Okay, okay, sit her down, sit her down, sit her down. Sit her down. Yes, I would, and yes it is. Because 
because in the love department I'm a little green. Bear day. And uh, my love for you would never be extinct. That's my number three, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Speed out. Yes. Diego wants to know if you were an internal organ, what would you be and why? That's right, number one. <laughs> Diego, for you, I would be the bladder. Oh, oh why? That's romantic. Because I would pamper you. I would always give you a huggy, and I'd give you a ride in my fast sports car so you could say, wee, 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 all the way up. I just recently got out of a three-year relationship. And if I could be any internal organ for you, I would be the appendix. All right, the appendix. That seems romantic. I, I would be the appendix because I would do for you, you know, Whatever the appendix does for the human body, I don't think anybody really knows. <laughs> Diego, at the first sign of irritation, you would just cut me out of your life to tell me you never needed me in the first place. <laughs> Why? Because I, uh, because every day I would be telling you I love you, <laughs> and I will make no bones about it. You need me. Oh, oh very nice. Is it back to right number one? Yeah. Come on, let's hear it. Thank you, people. What about back to right number two? before they remove the foundational structure that supported that hat. I think they're going to construct a stage from what I read somewhere. But uh, what a wide open space and a gorgeous view. So it, it's, it's hot. We got on our three fast passes. It's time for us to head out of this park. So we're signing off from Hollywood Studios. Don't forget to subscribe. Share and like. To share and like, that's right. See ya.